Hello, this is uh, Michael Jeffrey Peters from Houston, Texas. Um, this video is concerning Dr. Zoanne e. Dreyer at Texas Children's Hospital and her husband, William Dreyer, who both uh, work at the Texas Children's Hospital. Um, William Dreyer is a cardiologist and Dr. Zoanne Dreyer is an oncologist on the 11th floor of Texas Children's Hospital. Uh, Dr. Zoanne Dreyer, after two failed attempts to elicit CPS and saying that I medically neglected my son and failing, then decided to falsify my medical report and send that information to the 418th District Court in Conroe, Texas to Judge Tracy Gilbert, uh, <coughs> or rather to my wife's attorney who presented it at Judge Tracy Gilbert's court. Now all this information, uh, uh, um, I have the pharmacy receipts, uh, three pharmacy receipts in two months. I had to go, uh, CPS told me to go to uh, Texas Children's Hospital where I talked to a nurse and social worker, both verifying that I I knew how to give the meds, and the last uh, dosage is given. His lab results are all positive during the time in the two months that I had my son. Uh, he was in excellent health. Um, my wife, uh, who uh, who's had a brain tumor removed since uh, these hearings, uh, is now unable to take care of my son, but has sole custody of him, even though the jury in the 418th District Court said that we had joint custody. Now, Judge Tracy Gilbert uh, bowed out and uh, went on uh, uh, leave uh, so that he could bring in another judge from Hempstead, Texas, who came over there and stole my land from me, sold it at a half the uh, price to a, a, from a realtor who he knew for 30 years. Now, generally, you're supposed to have three realtors, uh, and it's supposed to be on a little more unbiased than a friend of the judge's. Uh, but they simply wanted to uh, show me who was the boss, steal my land from me, my five and a quarter acres where I worked eight years and risked my life uh, developing in Iraq uh, where I made my money um, and took care of my family and was building them a house and uh, several buildings and cleared that land all by myself. Uh, this Dr. Zoan Dreyer is uh, um, able to get away with this because of the, these elitist uh, uh, people who are making these donations from the medical center to uh, uh, governors like Rick Perry. The Texas Medical Board uh, simply says the doctor said that I said and uh, she was right and I never said it, but that's just how they steal my son. And, and this is all uh, uh, the medical board says that she's right. Now, I don't know how that can be, uh, <laughs> how that's possible. When all the other information I have uh, is to the contrary, CPS doesn't side up with people like myself. If I'm a if I'm a bad dad, they don't do that, and everybody knows that in the United States. So why is it that these people have stolen my son, and why is it that they're allowed to perpetrate these lies just because this doctor's lied? I never told that doctor that I didn't give my son one of his meds for two months. I picked up that med three different times. I have the pharmacy receipts to prove it. Uh, these people, uh, uh, the administrations of Baylor College of Medicine, which she's employed, are afraid of a multi-million dollar lawsuit. And so they immediately cover up for each other. And they do the same if they do something wrong in the medical procedures of any child at Texas Children's Hospital. The corruption over there... It's, uh, it's amazing. It boggles the mind. And everybody should be uh, uh, very concerned about their, their health of their children over there, that these people are not saints. Uh, she even hired a private investigator whose pictures are uploaded uh, today on the website, showing his vehicle and his face. And you just track that license number if you know how. I don't. Uh, but uh, he had five different vehicles and stalked me for uh, over a week. And um, I even uh, talked to him once, and he said he was uh, serving somebody some papers up until the time when he was parked at the uh, uh, ex-police officer across the street from me, terror tearing up their, their yard, stalking me from right across the street. It wasn't until I went down the street and turned the corner at night turn off my lights and turn back that I saw that he was coming to see what I was doing. He knew he was busted and the next day I took pictures of him and I never saw him again. Uh, these elitists are getting away with these payoffs to our government officials and uh, corrupting uh, uh, our, our 
medical board, uh, our, our system, our governor, uh, whoever's involved in this, they're paid off to the highest levels. They're elitists, and, uh, and they are uh, stealing our children. Uh, uh, I had attorneys from Baylor College of Medicine and Texas Children's Hospital at every divorce hearing. This is unprecedented. It is crazy. But this is Texas, and these people are getting away with it because they are on the take. These are our government officials here in Texas. Watch out for your children at Texas Children's Hospital, Baylor College of Medicine. These agencies are corrupt. These hospitals and administrations are very corrupt. My name is Michael Jeffrey Peters, and I'll be uploading all the information uh, to the YouTube sites uh, shortly. Thank you very much. God bless you. God bless Texas.